friends we will now see fine organics limited a fine company engaged in organics especially oleo chemical based additives so it is a manufacturer processor supplier distributor dealer importers and exporters all inside india and outside india basically a wide range of oleo chemical based additives used in foods plastics cosmetics coatings and other specialty applications in various industries fine organics is the largest manufacturer of oleo chemical based uh, additives in india <coughs> sixth largest global player it has got a diversified customer base <coughs> uh, like uh, coca cola britannia asian paints parle pedilite burger paints <coughs> and so on the important thing to remember is it does not have any customer account which contributes more than 5% of the revenue that is the revenue is spread over a number of clients <coughs> fine organics product portfolio comprises of over 460 products including food additives polymer additives emollients cosmetics additives uh, for additives for rubbers and elastomers etc <coughs> fine organics has shifted from synthetic chemicals to oleo chemicals which are more environment friendly <coughs> diversified oleo chemical products include wide range of additives Uh, for pvc polyolefins uh, styrenex uh, polyamides other engineering polymers rubbers elastomers etc fine organics has got warehouses in Euro- usa and europe also a network of 180 plus uh, distributors uh, connecting to 800 plus direct customers and 5000 plus end users <coughs> company distributes its products in 75 plus countries so it is uh, working uh, within india and uh, outside india also uh, very well <coughs> actually speaking domestic uh, uh, revenue is 39% uh, <coughs> and export revenue is 61% manufacturer uh, locations the test plant locations dombivli badlapur ambarnath patal ganga so these are all supposed to be very near to ports uh, so they are able to export very easily <coughs> more than 20 scientists are there uh, engineers are there technologists are there in the r&d centers r&d center is at dombivli and mahape they have established a, a joint venture company in thailand it is called fine organics industries very recently only and uh, they have terminated a joint venture with uh, adcotech gmbh <coughs> now so this is the uh, uh, details of the company now who are the helm of the company Mukesh Maganlal Shah Chairman and Managing Director Jayen Ramesh Shah Whole Time Director and Chief Executive Officer Tushar Ramesh Shah Whole Time Director and Chief Financial Officer <coughs> So we have seen uh, uh, the details about the company the details about the management now let us uh, first take a look at the latest results of q2 <clears throat> net sales for q2 fi23 
are 919.2 crores. Previous quarter, that is Q1 quarter, 747.7 crores. And Q2 of last year, 438.4 crores. Which means, year on year improvement in sales is 109.7%. Quarter on quarter growth in sales is 22.93%. Net profit is 202.7 crores. Previous quarter, Q1, 160 crores. Q2 of last year, 50 crores. Which means, see, 202.7 crores now, just 50 crores uh, Q2 of last year. So, 304.3% improvement in uh, net profit. You see, 109.7% improvement in sales and 304% improvement in net profit uh, year on year. And quarter on quarter improvement in net profit is 26.67. Sales improvement also is 22.93. Equity is 15.33 crores, basic EPS is 66.09 against 52.12 in the previous quarter and just 16.27 in the year ago quarter. Here also the growth, yeah, year, uh, year on year growth is 306%, quarter on quarter growth is 26.8%. <coughs> The price is around 6,170 something like that now. Price earning is 23.35 something like that. Volumes are uh, uh, a little low. 25,000 only. But 30 day average is 80,171. Market cap is uh, 18,905. <coughs> Uh, high and low are 7,329, 3,455, 52 week high and low, 7,329, 3,455. Let's hope that it will reach and surpass the uh, <coughs> 52 week high. Stock price earning is 35, book value 420, ROC is very impressive at 38.8%. ROE is also impressive at 30.7%. Face value is 5 rupees. <coughs> Some good features of the company are company is almost debt free. It is uh, giving uh, quarter after quarter very good qu results. <coughs> good profit growth, good ROE. So, uh, progress is good. <coughs> we will come to the Negative portions later on, small negative portions are there. The stock is trading at 14.8 times its book value. <clears throat> now, high trailing 12 months EPS growth, uh, high return on uh, equity and EPS growth, strong annual EPS growth also, good quarterly growth in revenue and profits. Uh, margins, uh, net profit margin is good and uh, uh, net profit also is good quarterly and also year on year. <coughs> Revenue has been growing during the last four quarters. Profits are also growing in the last four quarters. So these are all, you know, good plus points. <coughs> Book value per share is increasing in the last two years. The debt was not there. Now, promoter pledge also is not there. Zero promoter's pledge. <coughs> operating profit and operating profit margin are also good. That means at all levels, operating profit, profit after uh, uh, um, debt, etc., etc., uh, <coughs> all these things are good. Declining net cash flow. Cash uh, from uh, see, this is one negative point. Uh, net cash flow is good, but it is declining. So this is one point we need to remember. All operating parameters are good, including uh, cash flow. But when you look at uh, the 
scenario during the last two years net cash flow is decreasing various reasons are there one of the reasons is it is constantly expanding spending a lot of money on expansions now also brokers are upgrading the uh, stock <clears throat> so overall financial performance is good but valuation is expensive uh, price momentum is not there it's very uh, slow price momentum one of the reasons is uh, that there is uh, not much of floating stock around 75% is kept with the management i think they have to do something about liquidity of the stock then only price will improve <coughs> currently the price is very near to the 52 week high 15.72% away from 52 week high 78.68% uh, away from the 52 week low <coughs> momentum in price only is the problem slow very slowly it is moving up now at one time it was moving up very fast reason is as i, as I told you know liquidity so uh, there should be more uh, shares floating around <coughs> so price performance if you look at that in 3 years 237.74% improvement was there in the price that was good one year before 64.37% was there that also was not bad year to date is 65.79 that also not bad but during the current year uh, it is very sluggish revenue has been growing net profit has been growing operate profit has been growing during the last 3 years what is not growing is the price during the current year current 6 months especially <coughs> market cap is reasonably good price earning ratio is good pg ratio is good price to book ratio price to book ratio is uh, high that's not so good but price should go up but it is also not going up <coughs> profit growth is very good as i said you know other than price all things are going up there is no problem now if you look at the shareholding pattern that is uh, revealing promoters are holding 75% mutual funds have increased from 10.11 to 10.43 so how much it will be 85.43 hmm? fis are also holding uh, uh, 6.74 so 75 plus 10 uh, 85 plus uh, se- almost 7 Uh, 92% uh, are, are with others public is having very small company has to do something about it <coughs> now uh, <coughs> if you look at the various uh, ratios most of them are good basic eps is uh, uh, in rupees 84.71 simply marvelous cash eps is 98 that is uh, still better book value 313 very good revenue from operation is going up and up and up yeah, absolutely no problem net profit also is going up and up and up net profit margin also is going up we now 13.89% return on net worth is 27.06 very good return on capital employed 36.3 that's also very good return on assets is good Uh, debt to equity ratio is uh, very good there is no debt actually <coughs> so dividend payout ratio also is not bad not very good but uh, 12.99% only dividend payout ratio uh, uh, is 12.99% earnings retention rate ratio is 87 okay you are retaining you are expanding but why is the price not going up price is not going up because there is no floating stock <coughs> so uh, various uh, parameters are good <coughs> now some of the brokerages had estimated its earnings uh, a little low uh, fine organics has uh, surpassed all those estimates 
uh, all the plants excepting uh, Pathal Ganga uh, are currently running at optimum uh, capacity but uh, during the second quarter also some disruptions were there in uh, the other plants. Uh, custom, you know, the uh, plus point is fine organics customers are also expanding uh, uh, their requirements. So their own capacities are getting increased and they are placing higher demands with fine organics. Therefore, it is likely to have higher sales, higher profits, etc. for a long time to come. The company has set up a joint venture in Thailand. Uh, production will start by end of FI23. Uh, it has got uh, advantages of uh, easy access to many main raw materials uh, from Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand. And Thailand, is, uh, they, these are the major uh, producers of the palm oil globally. Outlook for the company is very good. So, uh, it is likely to beat the estimates of all the brokers in the times to come also. As I said, liquidity is the main constraint for price increase. So, company has to do something about it. Either they can uh, uh, split the shares. Now, five, I think 5 rupees is the face value. Either they can split the shares or issue rights or do something, but see that the present uh, liquidity crunch is not there. See, that is one of the main aspects that the company has to look into. Thank you for listening. <clears throat> fine Organics is a very fine organics company. No negatives except liquidity crunch, but liquidity crunch is affecting the price which is very important for uh, um, investors like us. Thank you for listening. I will be back with you with another very good company.